Hi, Linda. Hi, everyone. This is Linda. Let's use our programming in our machine to create a tree ornament. And we filmed this using the Epic 2, but it's also going to be done in other Husqvarna Viking machines that have eight-way stitches and programming capability. So we're going to learn about programming. We're going to use eight-way stitches and save for future use. Um, I use the Epic 2, but it can be done in the Epic, the 980Q, the 95Q, the Rubies, the Diamonds, and the SE. Anything, any machine that actually has eight-way stitches. So we're going to have some stabilizer and some two pieces of fabric and a couple of other little supplies that are here. Let's create a little uh, tree using programming in the sewing side of the machines. Now this is going to be recorded using the Epic 2 sewing side, but it can also be done in the 980Q because it's just sewing and it's programming eight-way stitches. It can also be done in the Ruby 90. The original Epic and the 95Q are going to be similar. There's just going to be some little differences and one of them is going to be how you get to programming. In the Epic 2, the 980Q and the Ruby 90, it looks like an A with a um, little zigzag stitch. In the original Epic and the 95Q, it actually says P-R-O-G to get into programming. So we're going to do this all in sewing mode. Nothing's done in embroidery. So this is a really easy thing to do for everybody. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to programming. And the first thing, so we're going to select this. And then you want menu T, which is your eight-way stitches. Now, if you're not sure where that is, it's pretty obvious. It's right here. There's your menu T. You have two choices when you're using eight-way stitches. You can either do a straight, just a regular old straight stitch, or you can do a reinforced stitch. We're just going to use a regular straight stitch to create this tree. And it's really pretty simple to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create some stitches that are going to go across the bottom of the tree across here. Then we're going to create some stitches going up and then over to the right and then up and then over to the left and then up and then again back again. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the um, arrow going to the left and that's going to put one stitch on our screen but I need 10 of them. So I'm going to hold down duplicate and I'm going to put in 9 because I already have one on the screen so I'm going to make it 10. So now I want to go up 2 and that's so that I don't have a really really tight point down here on the end. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier for you to do like a curve and for you to get stuffing down inside there. So now we're going to go up and to the right 10. So I'm going to do 1 and then I'm going to hold duplicate and I'm going to do 9. Then I'm going to go up 2 and I'm going to go over to the left five. So I can just count these because it's pretty simple. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to go up and to the right again. Oh, sorry, I don't want to go up and to the right. I need to delete that stitch, so I just hit delete. So now I want to actually go up to. Now I'm going to go up and to the right, hold down duplicate, and I want nine more of those. And then I want up to. I want to go to the left five, and then I'm going to go up two. I'm going to go to the right ten, so I got one, hold duplicate, nine, and then I'm going to check mark, and then I want to come over one, and I want the machine to stop so I can insert a ribbon inside this because when I'm stitching this I'm actually stitching the front and the back piece of fabric together so I've got it so it's gonna I want to stop it so I'm going to select stop the machine will stop even if I use my start stop button or if I'm holding my foot on the foot pedal it's gonna stop and that means I need to do something so then I want two more to the right that will hold held that in place and now I'm gonna come start coming down so I want to hold this down once duplicate nine check mark down two back to the left five and then i'm going to come down two and i'm going to do this ten times so that's once hold here nine check mark down two and i'm going to go off to the left again one two three four five and i'm going to come down two hold this 
duplicate. Oh, I hit that duplicate just once. Now, so I already hit this once. I hit that one. So I only need eight more. So I'm going to hold this. And I want to come down two. And then I want to go back ten. So I'm going to do this once. Hold this. Nine. And then I'm all done. So I'm going to hit my scissors. So it's going to fix it and tie a knot and cut my thread. So I'm all set and ready to go when I get ready to stitch this out. So I'm going to hit my little check mark here. And I'm going to just do OK. It tells me to use the S foot. Now if you look, it looks like it's trying to create multiple trees. Now you could do that if you wanted to, but I'm actually going to take, and I only want one repeat. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit the stop button on my machine and I should only have one there. Now it's different if the stop is in a little different place on the Epic and the 95Q, but I think you'll get the idea. So now I have this, but I want to save this for future use. And so to do that, I'm going to hit the little heart down here at the bottom. I already have a folder called Stitches. I have lots of other things in here, and I don't want it to be called New Stitch. I actually want to change that, so I'm going to hold this down, and I make New Stitch go all the way away, and I'm going to call this Tree. And I could make it capital letters and little letters if I want to, and I'm going to do a check mark. It already exists on me on my machine, so I'm going to just do check again. It's going to overwrite what I had, and now I can stitch this out. Now, a couple of things. When you're stitching this out, you use two layers of fabric front side and I just put wrong sides together and then I used just my regular scissors to cut out around making sure I didn't cut this part um, but you could use picking shears if you wanted to I just left it with those uh, I have that opening at the bottom I can stuff it with some stuffing and then I put this little uh, piece of cinnamon stick in there and I used a hot glue gun to shut this up but you don't have to do that you could do that you could hand sew it together if you wanted to. I used the hot glue gun and then I knew everything was up there where it needed to be. And you're all set. If you get really creative, you could actually think about putting names in here and do those kinds of things. I didn't. I just wanted it simple. I just used some Christmas fabric and it worked fine. I hope I see somebody do some of these.